Georgia News at 9 begins with your forecast first. We appreciate you joining us for Georgia News at 9. I'm meteorologist Carl Rippey. Nice to have some relief from all of the wet weather. We had some sunshine and some pretty nice conditions. We'll also see a change in the forecast. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for now, let's check in, see how we were looking for today. We made it up into those upper to mid 80s for us from right on track in the Atlanta area. Started off a little warmer than we would be normally by a degree, but really close to where we would normally be this time of year. Into Macon we go a little warmer, made it into those lower 90s. 90 degrees was our daytime high, 89 is our normal. And again, we started off a couple degrees above what we would normally be this year. And with this time of year and with uh, some of those storms making their way in, we'll talk about the timing and the impact. That'll come up in the full forecast pretty soon. But at the moment, let's check in with Remington. Right now on the News at 9. A historic home in Atlanta is getting a facelift. Find out what makes this property so special. Plus, police in Douglasville have a message for parents after an incident at the Arbor Place Mall. And Governor Brian Kemp toward areas hit by severe flooding. The News at 9 starts now. From WGTA, WPGA, and Newsnet, news as it used to be. This is Georgia News at 9. Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Remington Hernandez. An Atlanta couple saw an aging home as a good place to fix up and raise their kids. But what they did saved a piece of history in the process. Most contractors told Keisha and Jonathan Hen they would tear down the two-story, five-bedroom Victorian. It was abandoned and collapsing with vines breaching its rafters. And elegant features were taken out long ago. But the home built around 1900 has a place in American history. And eventually the couple found partners that recognized that, learning that the home was owned by early civil rights activist Luther Judson Price. Born enslaved by his plantation owner father, Price was a Clark College graduate who served as the federally appointed postmaster of South Atlanta, executive secretary of a Masonic order, and superintendent of the South Atlanta Methodist Episcopal Church. The Price has also led voter registration drives for African Americans, and that activism is something the hens appreciate.